Hey guys, we are going to have a look in Microsoft Excel at the themes and page setup options that are available. Now, let me explain to you what the themes are. So here you can see we have a worksheet and it's quite a lot of data. Okay, so it goes all the way down. It's got 103, 103 rows of information there, 102, 101, 101, 101 rows of information. And you can see over here, I'm on page layout. Okay, and there I have themes and I'm gonna click on themes and a theme is just a theme. It's just like styles in, in Microsoft Word. It's like styles, okay? And I can go ahead and I can pick up something and I can go like, okay, I'm gonna choose that one. And you'll see it changes the fonts and the size and if I had different colors and buttons and things like that, it will then format that according to the theme that I've chosen. I'm gonna go with, Organic. Organic. I'm going to go with organic. Anyway, moving on. Uh, you can see here we can then change the colors and pick a color scheme. We can change the fonts. What kind of fonts? Ooh, I like that one. That's a good one. Nice. And effects. You can choose all kinds of different effects uh, for images and buttons and pictures and things. Okay. So I've chosen themes, and that's pretty much what themes are all about. Then we get on to the page setup area. Now, let's have a look and we go through these nice and slow. Okay, so we have margins, orientation and size, just like Microsoft Word, same sort of stuff and uh, PowerPoint. So margins, I can change this to anything I want. I'm going to change it to narrow, narrow margins because we're going to look at what it's going to do when we print this. Okay, then I'm going to go to orientation and you can see my, my content sort of goes across like this. I'm going to do um, uh, uh, landscape. That's what I'm going to do. Landscape. Yes. Uh, orientation. Landscape. Great. Size. Letter. No, thank you. I'm going to go with A4. Okay, good. And you can notice how this little dashed line keeps moving and changing. Okay, that's going to show you my pages. That's the page um, break or end of the page. Okay. So what else do we have? Size. Print area. Now, the print area. Let me explain to you what that is. The print area is the area that you want to print. I mean, that's it. <laughs> it's pretty easy, but it's better if you set the print area first. Let me show you. So I'm going to go from here all the way down to the bottom and I'm going to go to the end. There it is there. Just shift click and I'm there. Now you'll notice I didn't include column L because I don't want to have this as part of my printing if I print this document out. So I just selected what I want to print. That's what the print area is. But now I need to set it. So I've selected it. Great. Go to print area, set print area. There we go. Set print area. Cool. Print area is now set. Fantastico. Breaks. This is where you want to insert page breaks. So if you wanted to have a specific page break, like, uh, you know, here, you can see there's one there already. But, you know, if I wanted it a little bit higher up there, I could go and insert a page break right there. That's the page breaks, easy. And it's just like in Word, where you control enter for for a page break in Word. Here you will do it in this way. Okay, you actually insert it here in page layout. Right, background. Oh, heaven help us. Here we go. Okay, so <laughs> I'm going to, uh, I'm going to go and just, uh, I don't know. Um, this is about roads and cars, I suppose. So let's just do a search on roads and cars. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to show you what it does. And like, I will never do this, but uh, here we go. Let's just find a nice image. Okay, cool. There's one and I insert it. So that will put the picture over there like that. And that is not pretty, guys. I'm sorry. I mean, it's a nice picture and everything, but uh, yeah, yeah, you can't focus on the content and you're so distracted by the content. So if you get asked in an exam, like, okay, put in a background picture, first you go, hell no, uh, don't sell, tell your teacher I told you to say that or your parents, but uh, say it in your mind and then, um, yeah, just do it, just do it for the marks, okay, but at least you know where it is, okay. Ah, this one, print titles, print titles. This is actually quite an important one. Let me show you. I'm going to click on print titles, have a look here. And I've got my print area set, A12K103. No problem with that. Now, the titles, as you can see at the top here, I've got a main heading, okay, number of cars on South Africa's roads. And then I've got the K, uh, GP, KZ, WZ, WZC, EC, okay. 
all the provinces. And I want to have that heading and those little subheadings at the top of every page because this is going to go over a number of pages. And I mean, if you're just paging through and you're like page four, page five, and then all you're seeing is columns everywhere with no headers at the top, it gets a little bit confusing. You got to like go back to the beginning and have a look. So what we do is we just repeat the rows at the top of every page. Check it out. Here we go. Rows to repeat at top. So I just click over there. I'm going to go and choose them manually. So I'm going to go and choose row number one and row number two. Row number one and row number two. Let's go back. The rest I'm going to leave out for the moment. Nothing too important here you need to know about right now. So I'm going to click OK. So far so good. Let us have a look and see what this is going to do with a print preview option. Okay, so I'm going to go to print preview. There it is there. You can also go control P for print. Same thing. Okay, so print preview. Click on it there. And at the moment, what am I looking at? I'm looking at 16 pages, 16 pages. I can see that it's landscape. It's A4. But I, I want to scale this because it's actually go, it's actually gone off the page to the side. So I'm going to scale this and I'm going to say fit all the columns on one page, all the columns. So it'll just squish everything a little bit and put the columns on one page. That's better. Okay, so now I'm down to only five pages, which is actually, uh, that's, that's a bit safer, I think, to print. All right, let's have a look here. There you can see the heading is there. My little subheadings, okay, the provinces are there. If I go to page two, it's still there, the number of cars and the provinces. Page three, page four, page five, and that is what print titles is all about, and that's why we use that. Okay, so there you go. In a nutshell, that, let me just go back for you guys, is the various page layout features that we have. Okay, so we have the themes and we have all the various page setups here. Okay, the last two things that I might mention uh, is for exam purposes, if you get asked to uh, print the grid lines, okay, so we can see the grid lines. Okay, here it is here, sheet options, grid lines, view, we can view them now on the screen, or print as well so when we click on the print preview let's have a look and see and you'll go down obviously these are already got grid lines so they've got borders so we're not going to see the grid lines but if we had extra data we would see the grid lines as well okay okay and i think that is that